Hello Virgo, I'm hoping you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here. This is your birthday bonus reading. Happy solar return to you guys. Wishing you all the best. Uh, this reading, I'm going to actually kind of look at it as like your solar, uh, and I know this is very general. Remember, um, you know, each of you have different chart, but I'm just going to ask here as a solar return, what does the, uh, the universe wants you to know? Um, what is important? And again, it is going to be important year ahead for you guys because we are entering eclipse season and the nodes are going to change from Aries um, to Pisces, the North Node and the South Node from Libra to Virgo. For some of you, and of course there's differences, but look at it that there, this is kind of also what happened 18, 19 years ago for you guys. Some of those um, situations may come back since again, the last time that uh, the North Node was in Pisces was about 18 to 19 years ago. Um, so I'm going to ask you, what is important uh, for you this year and what does the universe want you to know? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars. What are major events, opportunities, situations from the first house through the 12th for Virgos? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars, please. From the first house through the 12th. One more. The King of Swords and the Four of Wands. Well, definitely I feel like home, engagement, um, a phase of success. You're completing something. And it's interesting because this is Aries. Let's see. I like that combination. If someone also is single, it, uh, it might be the engagement, this King of Swords, especially if there's been someone here like kind of a, the ultimate bachelor. It doesn't have to, again, for some of you that may be the decision, but I'm getting some type of engagement or um, uh, it might be that finally there's this passionate foundation that is being created. We're looking at commitment here, vows, promises. Okay, so there is a, uh, a situation here when it comes to the Five of Swords and the Hierophant uh, regarding vows, promises, commitment, or faith. Like something unconventional, different this time. Oh my goodness, we're, we're starting strong here. It feels like love is going to be important now. And uh, this is for all uh, placements of Virgo. But for the Risings, remember... The nodes are going to be about you and your rela relationship status. It's going to be different for all of you, depending, again, on your ruler and on your chart. But overall here, guys, when the Two of Cups comes in, especially in your first house, your headspace, are you going to look at everything? We are looking at love. Or you're in love or you feel like you found your soulmate or there's finally this union. That's how you're going to see everything. That's how you're going to act. That's going to be your impression. Love. The Queen of Wands in the second house. This is very great having the Queen of Wands in the second house. Anything when it comes here uh, to self-esteem, uh, values, even how you make money. This may be a person that is influencing you or this might be you. But this is the boss lady. This is the entrepreneurial. This is the passionate. This is the creative type of energy. And it, it feels like someone that is very passionate, very confident energy. So I, I will feel like you're going to, you or whoever you're connecting with is going to bring, uh, by the way, look at the sunflower there. Happiness, joy, and confidence. Very confident energy, actually. All right, so definitely you guys... Uh, Closing a big, big cycle here because the first major arcana that is coming in is in the third house. And this might be regarding uh, contracts, regarding uh, a trip. Maybe again, you, you, you finally feeling like you have to make that trip available. It might be that um, your environment here completely is changing. With the world, to me, is culmination, is graduation, is fulfillment. Um, so I feel like, again, it's coming with this great achievement. It can be about publishing for some of you. It can be about teaching for others here. But again, it is your day-to-day -day kind of energy, and it is merc mercurial, which is your ruler. So it might be about also here that you finally coming to a conclusion regarding something that you have been thinking all this time, where it's going to lead. 
there you are with your own uh, card the eight of pentacles in the fourth house some of you improvement at home progress when it comes to your uh, family to your roots to your property you might be feeling that finally you know certain things here are going um i feel like in a in a direction that you want it think again this is to me sun uh in virgo and that's what it is energy and it's someone that look is shaping something it's like i've been working towards it and i, I can see it it's taking shape it, it's taking form it may be literally that you're working towards a house project uh, for some of you but this is mastery this is skill this is improvement when it comes to your home okay so guys we have a pair we have a passionate pair some of you may have fire in your chart or your person does but the king of wands is so appropriate in the house of leo house of romance hobbies here i feel like you're matching energy you and this person you're great for each other so i i feel like the king of wands may be you and you feel finally you and this person understand each other you have the same values when it comes even to romantic feelings or it can be vice versa here whoever you think the the king of wands is but uh, also this is the fifth house is the house of um, hobbies talents creativity and the king of wands is very entrepreneurial um, great motivator great speaker as well so i feel like again that's the energy that is coming in in that area of your life all right the seven of wands leo is strong with you guys so it feels like when it comes and this is your house, work, routine, as I mentioned the notes here, what do you feel now? You have to stand your ground, you have to overcome. Um, I really like the seven of wands because I feel like it always has this elevated kind of uh, energy, upgraded, knows that there's going to be oppositions or challenges, but it's like bring it on kind of energy. A lot of courage, a lot of determination to go after here, especially work or situations here that you uh, feel like it's going to improve your life. You want to go towards it and you're prepared. You're prepared for any challenge. You're standing above. You have the higher ground. All right. So I feel like, guys, this is about a connection. Remember the four of ones that I said, engagement. Um, so when it comes to one-on-one -on -one partnership, Aries may be strong for some of you as well. It, this is something that you have uh, anticipated and waited for. That's when it comes to marriage, one-on-one -on -one con commitment. Intentions are set. You know here what to expect. It's like the arrival of a partner. Finally, it feels quick with all this fiery energy. So something you've been expecting finally is coming in. And again, you are in love. You feel like this union is happening. It's coming in. Oh my God. Okay. I like the Wheel of Fortune <laughs> in the eighth house. And I know this house, it's it's very cyclical, by the way. I, I keep getting, again, I'm telling you, especially for some of you, it might even go back to 18, 19 years ago. Um that some, something finally is uh, being concluded. But the 8th house deals uh, with endings, transformation here, depth, uh, taboos, intimacy. But also, um, it does deal with shared resources and other people's money. And the will of fortune can be, um, finally, you, you're getting maybe inheritance here or what you've been waiting for. Because look at the Queen of Wands looking good there. Uh, uh, again in those areas and as I mentioned are very deep just expect your complete transformation or again something is coming back here is returning in a different way again that okay this cycle finally now is coming in and I feel like I uh, it arrived to the to the point of destination I feel I have to see how the whole reading goes but um, just expect some really um, I will say fortunate events or big changes when it comes to those areas of your life. I feel like it's the the faded connection between you and someone else. That's what's coming in. The Knight of Swords. There's going to be communication, especially for some of you. 
from afar, from a distance. Again, traveling here, communication. Uh, it may be about legal matters, uh, but also the, the Knight of Swords in the ninth house is like on a mission. You feel like, remember I said there's like a, a situation regarding your faith, your belief, what's ethical. So this Knight of Swords feels like I'm on the right pathway. It's very much outspoken here type of energy that is coming in. It might be for some of you, if you feel like you have to speak up regarding a ethical situation. You are a professor for some of you. That's very specific again, because this is the uh, ninth house also of exploration, but also when it comes to philosophy, when it comes to higher purpose, higher calling. And again, that Knight of Swords, I feel like again, has that rebellious streak, but also is like very, um, very outspoken energy. That's what I'm getting there. Okay, your status is going to be here about love, guys. Your whole persona, your whole public image is coming from a, a situation of being sensitive, loving, open, romantic, or finally you feel like this is love. This is where I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> this is something you have been dreaming. The, the 11th house, dreams, networking, uh, of course, it may be someone that you meet online for some of you. Um, but I feel like this is the beginning of that great love. I like, I'm looking, I'm going to um, bring this all together. I'm going to see how it's going because it's really beautiful. Oh my goodness, the six of pentacles and the king of pentacles. First of all, guys, I believe, again, if you have had something when it comes to money, finances, um, it's going to be reciprocated. But isn't it beautiful that that Six of Pentacles is in the 12th house, the house of Pisces, by the way. And I said here with the Wheel of Fortune, again, it can be like a windfall type of situation that is coming in. Um, but Pisces is such a spiritual, sacrificing uh, especially the 12th house, and it's telling you that there's going to be this sharing. It can be material, but also emotional, very generous. Behind the scenes, it's a very generous approach. You and this uh, person, especially here, um, are kind of creating this beautiful balance that is coming in. Love is strong. The arrival of love, the arrival of the soulmate, a cycle finally closing, that faded connection here that is coming in, especially for some of you, if it is from a distance um, that is happening. I want to clarify to see, but I will say mostly is going to be about this beautiful connection. You finding this balance between when it comes to the material and the emotional um, improvement at home and work. I feel like if I'm even looking at this, the Seven of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, you feel like you're you're fighting here for, for someone, Virgo. I don't know if it has to do with a cause, with a, a Knight of Swords, or something that you feel very strong. Like you have this um, outlook... Not only that you are in love and you feel like this is my person, but also uh, in improving your life and even other people's lives here. Some of you, again, I feel like you're going to get uh, an inheritance uh, or you're going to get some money th uh, through any type of project that you have been uh, doing. That's what it seems like. Let's see, though. Let's see. Uh, what is this Two of Cups? Okay, there's been a lot of back and forth situation. I don't know if there's before there's been some type of unrequited love or tension, but this is you and someone finally coming together here after some type of struggle. Again, I feel like your heart is with another person here and whatever are the obstacles and challenges, look at it's coming as someone that is the hero here. You might be feeling that someone is courting you. I don't know if you have a lot of suitors for some of you. And you're going to pick the one that, again, you feel like is the right for you. What is the Queen of Wands, please? What is the Queen of Wands? I'm going to get one card, not too many. Guys, I keep getting it. 
I um, it feels like this Queen of Wands is getting engaged. This is the Venus, Venus and Venus, Venus in Virgo, Venus in Aries. So it feels like your values again are going to change, or because of this person, or uh, some of you are looking to build a life with someone else. Where sometimes again the Nine of Pentacles can be independent, financially free. I'm good where I am, but. You know, life will be good with someone else as well. I feel like that's how your values, your, um, I feel like for some of you also, if this is, and it's specific, guys, I'm going to be specific because it's a second house, if it is a second marriage that is coming in. What is the world, please? What is the world? Are you looking happy? You're looking satisfied and fulfilled. Um, what is the world here? Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> this uh, major arcana. This is going to be beautiful, guys. Uh, what a complete change. So this, uh, especially some of you are going to feel this now and it's going to result. If there's been something here new in your environment that is coming and it might be out of the blue, drastic here is going to give you a sense of completion again i feel like some of you relocating uh something out of the blue uh changing in your environment and you feel like this gives me finally the sense that of completion let's see the eight of pentacles please let's see the eight of pentacles i'm gonna look at this for a moment all right so if you've been stuck regarding something at home that you felt like maybe interferences or other situation there's going to be improvement uh in that area of your life but let me get another one here especially property home family one more oh my goodness guys there's something you and you want to put work and efforts in that situation it's going to give you a sense of liberation there's something very beautiful that is coming in in your life here. And because it's the 11th house, it's like a dream, a wish, a vision that you have had. What is this King of Wands, please? What is this King of Wands? One more. The King of Wands is bringing here many, many uh, new beginnings and opportunity. A chance. A tangible chance that brings also breakthrough. I like it. A lot of aces, a lot of beginnings, a lot of... Look, I feel like you got all the aces. Yep. The king of wands is... Um, look at it. It's like uh, the way it's thinking. What can I do here? What do I have the opportunity? Prosperity, breakthrough, honesty, clarity... All right, so what is the Seven of Wands, please? What is the Seven of Wands? One more. Is this King of Wands? I, I feel like, again, I am getting such a good vibe because this is a person that, uh, it can be a boss. It can be uh, when it comes to a talent, to work, whatever you're doing daily here. Yes, challenges are there, but you know, they're nothing for the King of Wands. It's like, I, that's why I said I stand above everything else. It's such a motivator, such a charismatic, such, a, I feel like, a leadership kind of qualities. So whatever the oppositions, and it's coming again with generosity and balance here. That's uh, your work. That's your daily life routine, how you take care of yourself. You have, is like, you have all the aces, you have all the opportunities. It's like, let's go. Let me show someone here what I can do. All right, so what is the three of wands, please? What is this three of wands? One more. Oh my goodness, the arrival. Guys, the, uh, okay, this is the arrival of a soulmate. Like for some of you... Um, is the return of um, a person that you really um, had a connection. For others, it might just be that finally you feel like you found your soulmate. That's what's coming in. Wow. And it feels fast, quick. It might be someone from a distance. 
that you have been waiting for. Yeah, I keep getting uh, some of you are from a distance or something that has changed. It may be different culture, different religion here for some of you. A Queen of Cups, it can be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Again, I have the Queen of Wands there as well. Someone that um, there's a lot of emotional connection. What is the Wheel of Fortune, please? What is the Wheel of Fortune? Guys, I, I feel like this is the faded connection. Wow. A very faded event or connection or the best choice here is coming in your life. Are you ready for a new, I'm telling you, a new cycle? Complete new pathway cycle. Your life is going to, especially when it comes to this intimacy, connection, uh, shared resources, uh, heritage for some of you as well, it's going to completely change. But for most of you, I feel like this is that uh, soulmate uh, energy that is coming in, the one. What is the Knight of Swords, please? What is the Knight of Swords? One more. The Knight of Swords again is telling you swift, quick, uh, upfront communication, as I mentioned from before here. Or from a distance or relocation or when it comes to legal matters or something that you feel like you understand here, this, this higher calling, this purpose. What is the Knight of Cups, please? What is the Knight of Cups? I keep getting it's love, guys. The King of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. There's no more juggling. I feel like someone is taking action when it comes to status, reputation, love. Remember, the North Node being in Pisces is going to have those vibes for you guys. Idealistic. Uh, even, you know, with Pisces, we look at glamour as well. Um... We look at wanting to merge when it comes to a personal connection. You see, I'm telling you, this new opportunity, new love is turning everything when it comes to your dreams, your um, visions here and your life. It feels um, destined. What is this? Sorry, I come on get it one more okay so the king of pentacles here it feels like if before you and someone maybe because of friends maybe because of distance or something here that you felt like you cannot open up is finally coming in now money or how someone needs to share or open up is bringing a little bit of conflict but again it's telling you that there's this outpouring love this pure feeling here that it will overcome any type of suspicion or hurt or guilt kind of situation what is the um six of pentacles what is the six of pentacles please one more the wish fulfillment guys Oh my goodness, remember, this needs to be shared. The, the devil coming in here is as fearful, greedy, or holding back. But the Six of Pentacles, if you have felt like someone here, or there was, again, a situation that uh, you felt like you could not have, maybe because it was too indulgent, too good to be true, uh, is telling you what is going to come is with this nice change. And it might be because of finances, something called dependent here. There's going to be this nice change um, or reciprocated feeling that you can have your wish fulfillment without feeling like you are going to be consumed by a situation or forbidden there kind of a thing. There's a partnership here. Some of you may be working with this person. I keep getting the world or this is a sibling or a contract or a partnership or a friend that finally you feel like it, you and this person working together, there's going to be this uh, pact or sharing here because I'm getting uh, a few kings as well. So I feel like in the end, just finding or again, um, like working with the team here, finding the appropriate uh, people when it comes to your work. Or are you feeling like now I have something here that I can start building that it will take me? I feel like there's a like a blueprint. There's like the like someone here that is drawing um, this kind of map, or uh, it's like the architect here that we're gonna build. I feel like this dream, or uh, finally this wish fulfillment here that you have had. That's what it feels like. The Three of Pentacles is making things. 
in actuality here this is going to be it and it's going to take us to um, this kind of accomplishment or culmination